Hello everyone, welcome to programming today. Lately, I'm getting a lot of questions today be a data scientist or software developer considering I have interest in both. That's exactly what I'll be discussing in this video. But if I have to give you an idea, what all things I will be covering in this video are uh, some of the skill sets that you need for a data scientist and to be a software developer. And I will also cover a little bit about what sort of background you need to be either of these. And uh, I will also discuss about what is the scope of both the roles in the job market. And at the end, we will also discuss a little bit about salary. So that's exactly what we'll be discussing in this video. So stick till the end of the video to get all the information. But if you have anything questions related to this, do let me know in the comment section. I'll be more than happy to reply to your comment. And uh, before moving further, as always, if you are new here, option to subscribe to the channel, please go subscribe to the channel and be a part of programming channel family. And if you end up liking this video, please give it a thumbs up. It keeps you motivated to make these videos for you guys. So with that being said, let's start a discussion. So the first thing is the skill sets that you need for a data scientist. So data scientist's main role is to analyze the data and get more insights from it and help the business to grow more. And sometimes you might also train machine learning or deep learning models to maybe predict uh, what will be the growth in coming years of a company. You might uh, do some image processing or uh, image computer vision problems, natural language processing like email classifier or things like that. So these are the kind of things which uh, data scientists will be working on and they mainly focus on improving the business even more. Now, if I talk about some of the skills that a data scientist might need is programming language is definitely something which you need. Uh, and two of the most popular programming language right now in the industry are R and Python. Julia is also coming up. So if you want to learn something new, you can consider Julia as well. So that is the main uh, backbone which you will be using to code everything. You also need uh, concepts like mathematics and statistics. After that, you can use most of the popular Python packages such as uh, Matplotlib, Seaborn, NumPy, Pandas. For machine learning, it will be scikit-learn. There are many other packages as well. You can use uh, Keras, TensorFlow or PyTorch for your deep learning uh, tasks. So these are some of the skills that you might need. If I have to make a full-fledged video on skills needed for a data scientist, I have already made a video. So uh, you can probably find a card somewhere here. So you can check out that video after this video. Now let's move on to the skills needed for a software developer is you need to be a software developer. You could uh, literally work on so many things. So you can be a web developer, you can be Android application developer, you can be iOS developer. So there are many different things there. These are just three which I have named. There are so many other things which you can do. So if you want to get into, let's say, uh, Android application development, so you can learn Java, Kotlin. These are the two very popular languages. If you want to go into iOS development, you can learn Swift. If you want to go for web development, it's like a whole stack you can use, which is Mern stack or mean stack, I will leave a, a link into the description uh, of a Wikipedia page where you can actually learn or actually you can understand what is mean stack with what is mern stack. So you can read those articles if you want. So these are some of the skills that you need to be a software developer. Again, if you want me to make a video uh, like what are skills needed for a software developer, I will do a dedicated video for that. So do let me know in the comment section. I'll be more than happy to do that. And there is something else that a data scientist need more than uh, a software developer is communication skills. Because as a data scientist, you will be communicating a lot with your stakeholders, with your managers, because you have found something uh, key information about the business. So you will, have, you will have to convey that to your uh, stakeholders so that they can improve the business. So that is communication skills is more important for a data scientist rather than a software developer. So if you think uh, software developer doesn't need to be good in communication so it's not uh, completely true because whatever work you will do whatever things you will build ultimately you have to show it to your manager or uh, stakeholders but the thing is if you don't tell that in a complete depth or if you tell few things here and there which is missing it's still fine because ultimately the software is being developed and it is working fine because it has been tested by a lot of different people as well. So that is totally fine. It is not going to impact your business by a huge margin. But in terms of data scientists, if he or she misses something out and if they convey it in a wrong way, it is going to impact hugely on the business. So having a good communication skill for a data scientist is more important than a software developer. So that is also something which you can consider. Now with that, let's move on to what type of background you need to be either of these. 
So if you are coming from a non-computer science background, you can easily get into data science. It's not a big deal because data science or data to be a data scientist or data science field in general is an interdisciplinary field where people from any background can be a data scientist because data science is not just about technical skills. It's also about communication skills like I talk about and also domain knowledge is very important to be a data scientist. So that is also something which you need to consider. To be a software engineer, you need to have a very, very good hold over your data structures and algorithm and how an operating system works about uh, networking and things like that. So there are a lot of different things that you need to know to be a good software developer. So that is something that need to be considered. So if you are coming from a computer science background, you can uh, be a software developer and it you will be the preferred candidate in the market. And if you are someone from non-technical background, you can still be a software developer. It's not like you need to have a bachelor's in computer science, but it will be a little bit difficult because you will have to cover everything in a very short period of time. What someone from computer science background has done in four years or three years of her, of his or her bachelor's. So that is there, but it is totally possible. And what I think is computer science bachelor's, which they are covering in four year is not worth spending four year on that you can easily learn everything in maybe two years or even one year but yes you will have to put in quite a lot of effort for that so it is totally possible for someone from non uh, technical background to be a software developer and many people many many people have done that because if you see indian job market a lot of people who are working in the bigger it firms are from non technical background they are coming from mechanical electrical electronics and civil engineering so they are coming from a lot of different background but they are still uh, being successful in a software or IT firm. So it's totally possible to do that. But uh, yes, uh, people from computer science background are preferred over other people because they might be having a lot of basic and good knowledge about data structures and algorithms. It's just an assumption which I know could be wrong, but it's just how the market is. So that is about some of the background that you might need to be a software developer or a data scientist. Now let's move on to the scope in the market. So uh, I personally think software development has a bigger scope as compared to data science because let's take an example. There is a very small uh, business which is just now started and they need a website. So obviously they will need a software developer, but they don't have enough data to analyze and improve their business in the first go because first they need to set up their business and they need to uh, see how market is responding to their product. So they might not need a data scientist, but Nowadays, online presence is very important and a lot of companies want to have an online presence and that's why they need software developers. They might need a website. They might need uh, Android application. They might need uh, iOS application. So for that, they need a lot of uh, software developers. So that's why software developers are in more demand as compared to data science, data scientists. And because of recession and things like that, uh, I have heard a lot of recruiters telling that uh, the companies are cutting down on data scientists, but they are still hiring for a software developer. And it totally makes sense to me because they need software developer to keep their application up and running, but they don't really need a data scientist at this point because they can always improve their uh, business at later point when things will look good because nowadays uh, recession is going on and uh, also inflation is there. So maybe people don't have that much spending capacity. So they anyways not going to spend too much on your product maybe. So what's the point in analyzing too much and trying to beat the market so that is there but of course uh, there are companies who are still hiring data scientists because they want to make most of most out of this particular market but there are companies who just can't afford a data scientist but they need software developer to keep their application up and running so that's why i think uh, software development or software developers are in more demand as compared to uh, data scientists now with that let's move on to the salaries so i was researching a bit on glassdoor about salaries and stuff and what i have seen is data scientists are having a little bit more salary as compared to software developer and it totally makes sense because in general it's not like you need some experience to be a data scientist but companies uh, prefer to have you some sort of experience to be a data scientist so that's why they tend to pay a little bit more because you have some sort of experience but uh, as a software developer you just need to have good hold over your programming skills and data structures and algorithm and you can be a software developer so if you are in your initial stages, you will be getting less paid. So that's why data scientists have a little bit higher average salary. And in the UK, I saw around 50K is the average salary for data scientists. And 
it is around 45k for software developer which is not a very huge margin so that is a good thing and uh, also if you consider tax and stuff so enhanced salary that will be more or less same so it doesn't make a lot of huge difference so that is something you need to consider uh, so yeah this is what i want to discuss in this video and i hope you found this video helpful and if you are into data science you can download the data science notes link is in the description and if you end up finding this video to be helpful please give this video a thumbs up because it always keeps me motivated to make such videos for you guys so with that being said hope to see you in the next video but also i have uh, came up with this one-to-one -one meeting so if you want to book a one-to-one -one session with me you can join the channel membership where you can book or schedule a meeting with me i can probably help you with something if you are confused so yeah do check out the membership of the channel as well so yeah with that being said hope to see you in the next video bye don't forget to subscribe share like and comment and uh, happy learning